Gasper LeBowl, one of the more even matchups of the bowl season with Mizzou and Wake Forest. And a number of things to watch here. I know that uh, people have talked about Dominic Lovett, that he has transferred out. Does Luther Burden, does he have a big day? That's something certainly to keep an eye on. Wake Forest is an interesting team because Sam Hartman has already announced he's not coming back to Wake Forest next year. Not to go pro, but he's going to transfer. But he's still playing in the bowl game, so it's an odd little mix there with Wake Forest. They can score. They don't stop a lot of teams. They're pretty good against the run, but they don't stop a lot of teams. They give up a lot of points. So this game might have a lot of points scored. It could be a high-flying game, and if that's the, the case, then maybe it is a big Luther Burden game. Brady Cook, what does he look like in this game? And heading into the offseason, is he going to be the guy next year? Could it be Sam Horn at different times? That'll be something to keep an eye on as well. One of the fun, intriguing, and sort of uh, curious things about this game will be what's called the slow mesh for Wake Forest, a slow mesh offense. It's where Sam Horn will put the ball into the stomach of the running back and they'll actually start to slowly walk towards the line of scrimmage until he sees what the read is going to be. How long the ball is in the mesh point could be up to three or four seconds. How Mizzou's defense plays this is going to be interesting. It's kind of like a triple option. You got to be disciplined in what you're going to do and what your eyes see versus what your reads are. That's going to be something fascinating to watch how Wake Forest does offensively against what I think is the best unit on the field of the four. It is Missouri's defense. How do they look? It is a very close matchup. It could go either way. It's big for going into the offseason. Wake Forest has lost four of their last six, and Mizzou has won four of their last six. They are programs heading in opposite directions. Does that continue? We'll find out, but it's big for Eli Drinkwitz to get this win and head into the offseason with even more of a momentum push than they already have.